How's it going guys? It's me, the Don't Talk You here to talk about Kid Sniper episode 9. And this is the start of some heavy feels part 1. Because episode 10 was pretty good too. So episode 9 continues off with episode 8, the setup for all the romantic relationships shipping in the series, like with Chidori to Katsuhiro, Katsuhiro to Noriko, Tenga to Chidori, Niko to Tenga. Honoka and Tetsu? Tatsuya? I forget his name. Um, and like, Kisomu is just whatever, he's okay, whatever. So it's just like so much things that I couldn't believe, right? And they were like planning to separate them to sort of rile them up and progress the kids next time, experiment with their emotions and whatnot. Except in this episode, that doesn't happen. That really doesn't happen. So after um, Katsuhira runs off to find. Um, which we call Noriko, they learn about each other's marks. Um, Chidori meets up with everyone else in a classroom who sees the conversation between Noriko and Katsuhira, and Chidori gets full on like jealous, or not jealous, but like devastated to the, f to the, to the possibility that Katsuhira likes Noriko. Then Tenga's pissed off at Katsuhira, he's just like, wait. No, this bastard's like, what is he doing? And then Nico's trying to like calm down and is like, oh, you know, I like Tango and stuff. It's so. I don't know if it was me or not, but like these relationships seem really forced, but at the same time, they make it look like they've been there this whole time. It's like, or either it's either I didn't notice or I'm just like, damn, like, yeah, they just sort of like put this stuff out. It's like, oh, you know, let's have these two shit together or this person like this one or something like that. But if not, then. My goodness, that was that freaking amazing, because after a while, we sort of learn how Kizna, not Kizna, what the frick is Kizna? We learn about Noriko and Katsuhiro's backstory of how they used to, like, you know, as the, the vision, and how they were kids, and they knew each other, they've been bound together for a longer time, and they have different marks, like, on his heart, and then Noriko's neck, and then afterwards, Tenga then comes in, and then, you know, they sort of rile them up, it's like, oh, you know, everything you said is all true, and then they all sort of you know, Chidori runs off in the distance and is like, Oh, Katsuhiro, you have to go and get her and whatnot. And then there's so much things revealed, like how Nico likes Tenga and how Tenga likes Chidori. It was revealed in that dramatic sequence where everyone is in the rain, the middle of the rain and the storm. And then everyone's marks turn red and then all that shit goes down where they're feeling the pain and emotion in everyone's hearts. And like, the things that they say is just, wow, so... It just goes to show us, like, you know, people sort of say things differently on the outside, but what they're thinking the inside is so much more, like, different and sort of, like, true to themselves, and they don't want to reveal that self. Like, um, what was it? Like, Chidori wanted Katsuhiro to hug her, but then the outside, he's like, stay away from me, and then, like, you know, it's just like, whoa, and then Katsuhiro hugs her, right? But then it's like, oh, you're so mean. It's like, what the freak? Like, this is really her, and she wants him to hug him? It's so weird. And then Tenga comes in, and then he, they eventually find out, Chidori finds out he likes her, and then everyone else comes in, and then Nico comes in, and then she's like, oh, I thought we were all friends, like, why are you guys fighting? And then in the inside, she's saying, like, oh, if you don't like Tenga, then give him to me. If you don't want him, give him to me. It's like, whoa, this is, there was so much shit going down. Like, oh my goodness. Like, you know, like, Nico, her, her character, like, in the outside, she always tries to seem friendly and over, like, hyperactive and stuff. But the inside, in this part, the episode, she was just, like, hurting and she didn't want to show that. But everyone's red Kizna marks reveals, like, the, everyone's emotions and thoughts. And how she's jealous and she just wants Tenga and whatnot. I'm just like, wow, it was, so, it was so thing. And then eventually, it gets to the point where, like, you know, even Honoka, Honoka was saying that because that they became friends with each other, they had to reveal their hearts to each other, and by being close to each other, that they're gonna share or reveal their pains and whatnot. And that honestly, Honoka thought that everyone could be friends. And, you know, after like the last arc with Honoka, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it seemed like they totally could be friends. After going through these things together, they totally could. But this experiment that just went wrong with everyone's emotions and relationships and their feelings, it just didn't go right. And everyone's in freaking turmoil because, like, one person is, um, one person's love interest loves someone else. And, like, times two, because you have Tenga and Katsujihira, and then you have Nico and... Chidori, I'm just like, oh my goodness, this is so terrible. And then afterwards, it just goes to like, everyone screaming out in pain, like it hurts. 
it hurts. It hurts. Like in their emotion, their hearts. And like everyone is feeling the same thing. And then it just, they all freaking pass on the ground. I was like, whoa, this is getting so intense and whatnot. And Katsuhira, he feels the pain. So I think he feels the pain. I'm pretty sure he does. He doesn't really show like that he does feel it but everyone freaking like falls to the ground is like oh it hurts like the freaking red kiss the marks on it hurts and then they all pass out to the morning where the storm's over and everyone's just laying there the teachers comes like oh you guys are okay it's like do you think we look okay it's like damn they went through some shit like and afterwards that was that's just like you can easily tell that this is the end of their friendship like they all just like you know we can't be friends with each other these kids the marks are we're bound to to feel each other's pain it's just a thing and like when this okay so the thing stopped recording i hate when that happens when i'm in the middle of something so i was saying i was getting the moment and then i realized the thing was stopped recording i was like oh shit so anyways um yeah the, like back with what Hong was saying it's like you know oh or like you can sort of tell at the end of this episode, like, you know, their friendship is over. It's like, it's so done. Like, you know, throughout episodes one through, what is it, seven, eight, just one through seven, they became sort of good friends and whatnot and stand together, right? But then after this episode, all that broke down. And, you know, Honoka was saying that, you know, she uh, said that, you know, these marks that, you know, we're just bound by these marks and we're not, we can't really be friends because of these things and that, you know, like, after this episode, I was like, what the frick are they supposed to do now? Like, you know, they have this pain that they all felt towards one another, or just, like, the pain that they all shared from, like, people, from themselves, and, like, you know, like, they don't want to go through that shit anymore, and just, like, you know, it's like, forget that. Like, it's so, it's so, man, this episode, and I haven't talked about episode 10 yet, so, yes, that's really all I wanted to say, and freaking, I hate when my camera cuts over but yeah, I mean, like, after this episode, I was just like, shoot, so how are they gonna do this now? Something's gotta happen, you know, something in episode, like, 9... Oh, this is 9 derp. This is episode 10, 11, 12. So anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. I'm sorry that the thing cut out. That is my apologies. I have been working on so many things um, for the channel and other my other channel, technically. So, but yes, episode 10. Now, I haven't talked about episode 10 yet, but that is the big one. The big, the big, big, big one. The big one, yes, the big one. And um man, I just can't wait to talk about episode 10. So stay tuned for that. Like the video if you like Kids Niver, episode 9. And you know, Kids Niver is really good, so like the video if you like that. And subscribe because episode 10 will be my video of episode 10 will be coming out real soon because I want to talk about so many things that happened that episode. And you know, subscribe because later on when the Kids Niver finishes episode 11 and 12, I you bet I'll be there to cover the ending and see it through to the end. And we'll see how many romantic ships actually happen in the ending. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. So take care. I'll see you guys on the next video on the Double Taku Anime Channel. So take care, guys, and matane.